Hi, I'm Jim Spees with River Pools and Spas, and we're out here in Heastville, Virginia on this hot May day, and um, I want to talk to you a little bit about a swimming pool that we recently installed, take you on a little bit of a tour. It's a leisure pool, and it's a Moroccan 38, and we're going to look at a few things at this pool that kind of really enhance this whole backyard, and that's what we want to talk about is how the backyard is enhanced, and also about s typical uh, things that are done properly on a pool that some pool builders will miss and it can be costly for you as a homeowner when they get missed. So let's take a little bit of a tour. Okay, here we are. Let's take a walk up the patio. And if we take a look at the patio, I'm going to zoom in. You see just a stamped walkway coming up. Has some beautiful flowers planted on the border. We'll walk on up here. We have a gate. And these gates are self-closing. They have a lock on them. I'm going to take you underneath here real quick just for a second. And then zoom in. You see it's a keyed lock. Okay. And then you have a handle. It's up pretty high. Take a pretty pretty tall child. A child, a child is not going to get up there and open this. You pull that up. And you walk in. I'm going to turn around. And it's a self-closing gate. All right. There's some beautiful brick column work here between these gates really pretty this is really a beautiful backyard see the patio furniture out here and what this does when you take your backyard and turn it into its own little oasis and a lot of people say it's an awful lot of money to spend on your backyard but think about the vacations that you stay at home now let me show you something here we have a pipe coming out of the ground that is for a future water feature and or a slide, depending on what the homeowner wants to do. We put that in now, and that way you don't have to worry about it later. I get a lot of calls from people that say, can you come out and put a water feature in my pool? And it's the pool that we didn't install. And the uh, problem is you got to cut the concrete out to run the plumbing to actually do it. So if we do this, very inexpensive to do that. And then later on, you can add your water feature. I'm going to take a walk around here. What you see here is coping on the pool. 18 inches. It's actually a stamp border. It's called a jumbo rock stamp. We're going to zoom in on that. Okay. And you can see that that's just a typical, like a jumbo rock pattern. Now, we put cuts about five to six feet. It does give it that coping look. Another thing you're gonna see is, another thing you're gonna see is when we look at this concrete, we're gonna take, and you see that we have a slate pattern out here. I'm gonna zoom out. And we're gonna come over here. We're gonna look at these brass grommets. Those are down into the ground, into the concrete. Get another one over here. Okay, we have another one right here. And they hold the security cover in place. All right, then we come back. Zoom back out and take a look at what we have. Beautiful walkway, some white stone. Two different level patios here. We're gonna swing around. We got a gazebo over here. We're gonna come back on around. The so security cover's been taken off the pool. Pool's been open to enjoy for the summer. Security bags in this security covers right here in that bag. And that's where your security cover is. Okay, we have lighting, which is powered by solar on the tops of these deck posts and also around the pool. Gives it a beautiful ambience. 